Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well and I hope you had an amazing week. Today I am finally sharing my couch update. So many of you guys have requested this video and I'm so sorry that it took me this long to post it. For those of you that missed this DIY, I'm going to give you a quick little recap. So about two years ago we were gifted a microfiber futon and I decided that instead of donating it like we had planned, I would paint it because I was in love with the West Elm um, brown leather couch at the time. So I figured it would be so cool to make it look like real leather. I ended up researching Pinterest. I mean, I looked high and low and I found so many different recipes and I tried all of them. I actually cut up a piece of fabric off the side of the couch to do all my testing on. <laughs> um, but none of them were soft or looked good. and. Some of them even required me to sand in between layers, which was just way too much work. Then finally, I had this weird idea. I was thinking maybe if I took fabric softener and added it to the paint, it would do the same thing it does to fabric. You know, maybe it would make the paint soft. Um, so I tried it and it was amazing. It actually rubberized the paint. It didn't necessarily turn it soft, but it turned it into like super stretchy latex. So I got the recipe to where it was workable and I applied the paint onto my swatch and once it dried, it was amazing. It literally stretched with the fabric just like faux leather would. So that's how this couch came to be. I'm gonna try and keep this short. If you're wondering where this couch is currently, I actually ended up moving it into my office because I felt like the color was clashing with my floors in my living room, so we ended up getting gray couches for the living room. So it has been the majority of the time in my office. We actually ended up painting one of the walls um, chalkboard black, and I think that was a mistake because you guys, these drawings are actually permanent. I cannot get them off. Otherwise, I would have wiped the wall before the video. But um, yeah, he used the wrong marker. Um, so we'll be repainting the wall for sure. So um, to get started, I'm going to show you guys any cracking or peeling on the couch. There's one little section on here. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. So there's this little corner right here that started peeling off and it actually kind of looks like when faux leather peels off it kind of looks the same this is actually because i had my desk crammed in here at one point because i was rearranging furniture and my chair kept on budging into this and it kind of rubbed off the paint but that's it also no signs of it cracking or peeling anywhere so it's honestly exactly like the day i painted it everywhere else the faux effect is still on there. It didn't wear off and it still feels rubbery and soft. The one thing I do want to mention is that this definitely feels a little bit more stickier than I think faux leather. I've never owned a faux leather couch or a leather couch so I'm not real sure but when I sit onto it with my shorts it does kind of um, stick to my skin kind of sticks to it. And uh, if you're wondering whether the paint rubs off onto your clothing, I haven't had that and I haven't noticed any paint rubbing off onto my clothing. For the finishing effect, I actually ended up going with just the paint. I never sealed it with any clear coat or anything like that and this is how good it's been holding up the past two years with no clear coat. So overall, I'm actually really impressed with this. Would I do this again? Definitely. If I find something microfiber, I would definitely do this again. For those of you wondering whether it works on other fabrics, I'm going to show you guys real quick how it looks on this fabric. So this is the fabric before. It's actually really rough. It almost feels like wool, a full street. And I'm going to show you guys the back side. I started painting it and I never ended up refinishing or completing it because it was looking horrible. Okay, so here's how it looks on the back side. It is so rough. It doesn't work on really textured fabric. It works really good on microfiber. And so far, this is the only other thing I've tried it on. And the last thing I wanna cover is whether we have pets. So yes, we have one cat. Um, he's not very active on the couch, so I don't think the wear or anything related to the couch was affected by the cat in any way. He likes to be on the rug a lot. He's definitely a rug cat. Um, okay, I think that's it. If you have any more questions, please feel free to comment down below and let me know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.